Inglese Vero Podcast. Conversazioni e storie in inglese vero. Ciao, sono Stefano Roganti, fondatore di inglesevero.it. In questo podcast ti racconterò alcune mie storie in inglese, personali, sull'inglese e avrò delle conversazioni in inglese con i miei amici, madrelingua e non, da tutto il mondo che parlano inglese vero. L'utilità di questo podcast è quello di abituarti ad un inglese vero, senza filtri, senza livelli, che viene utilizzato in tutto il mondo. Con l'ascolto di questi podcast ti abituerai ad un inglese come non hai mai fatto prima, così da poterne sfruttare tutta la magia senza confini. Buon ascolto! Good afternoon and welcome to this fourth episode of my podcast, of English Vero Podcast. It's 6.50 now, 6.50 p.m., of course, because I said good afternoon, and it's the 4th of April 2019. Uh, why did I say 6.50? Because at school they teach you it's 10 to 7. Well, because... 10 to 7 is the it's one correct uh, way to say the time, but sometimes when you speak fast, you have to calculate 10 to 7, half past 6, uh, quarter to, you don't remember, you just read the time as it's in the watch. So 6.50, 6.50, instead of 10 to 7. Of course, the, the two of them are correct, but 6.50 is more easy, is easier and uh, more immediate, I'd say. Uh, the, other, the other thing I want to say about the time is that you don't say 18, like in Italian, le 18, but you say 6 all the time. You never say 18, you always convert the time into the easy mode, so 6. Uh, if you want to precise, uh, to specify whether it's the afternoon or the morning, you can say 6.50 in the morning or 6.50 in the afternoon or 6.50 p.m. or a.m. The, uh, the only environment where you use 18.50 is the military environment. So only in that context you can say it's the, the, the official time, like for example... Uh, 2030, 2030, uh, 1850, but that's the only the military environment which I don't think you and I will be talking English very soon anyway. So, what's the topic of today? The topic of today is conversation. A conversation of, in English usually starts with the same small talk all the time. Whether your conversation will be a convers a business english conversation or a fun conversation with friends or a conversation about an exam with a teacher or a professor at university whatever the conversation before the actual topic you will always cover a couple of uh, standard topics let's say which is called small talk small talk which is uh, a little talk <laughs> means that, that it's a talk about non-very non-important matters. Usually the small talk it's about the weather, <laughs> typically British, and the talk is about the latest news on, on, on the news, on TV. After that, you could talk about your personal interests, uh, about some hobbies, personal interests, or some opinions, and after that, all the time, Uh, you speak about your the topic of the actual conversation. If it's business, you start talking about business. If it's uh, a friendship, you start talking about your friendship and you start talking about gossiping and uh, whatever you want to talk about. Anyway, let's start uh, talking about uh, the weather, which is the first uh, uh, topic of small talk all around the world, especially in Britain, because in Britain and Ireland, Uh, the weather is very variable, it changes all the time, so the weather is a very interesting uh, topic because it's always interesting, never bored, never boring. 
you never get bored about the weather in, in, in the UK and in Ireland. So uh, today here it's windy and warm. It's, it's springtime, so uh, the winter has, has finished. Uh, now it's spring and we're starting to become uh, more like summer, summer weather. Uh, so it's, uh, it's warm, it's a sunnier day, but the weather is very variable. So sometimes it's hot, sometimes it's cold, sometimes it's windy, sometimes it's rainy, sometimes it's uh, clear sky, sometimes it's sunny. So it's like more British weather, <laughs> spring in Italy. Spring in Italy is more like British weather for me. So today it's uh, uh, windy and cloudy and it's going to rain very soon because I felt few drops of rain on my face, few drops of rain on my face uh, entering home. So I love this weather because I know for certain that it's a, it's a temporary weather. So I'm not, I'm not afraid, I'm not worried about, oh my God, it's going to be bad weather for, for the rest of my life. And it reminds me of when I lived in Dublin, in Ireland, when this weather was all year round. So all year round was sunny for five minutes, raining for 10 minutes, windy all the time, and then uh, sunny again and raining again, and then cloudy and then clear skies and then cold and then warm. And oh my God, it was so, so changing that I remember one morning I got up Look at look out at the window. I saw clear sky, sunny, no wind. So I got out the rear door, <laughs> and then it was windy and rainy. I'm 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 not joking. It was after ten minutes, after ten minutes, and from the other side of the house, the weather was completely different. One side of the house was raining and windy, and the other side of the house was sunny and clear skies. It was really, really like shocking experience for me. Then I learned my lesson that you never look at the sky to, 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 to understand the weather because it's going to change in five minutes anyway. So apart from this uh, little story of mine, which maybe is not interesting for you. Um, so I love this weather today because I know it's going to be warm very soon. Summer is coming a couple of months and it's going to be summer again. And um, in Italy, summer is kind of guaranteed. So I love this weather. I can't wait for the warm, the warm winds um, to go to the beach, have a swim, and oh my God, wear shorts all day, wear, wear vests, wear sandals, and uh, not wearing warm coats and jackets all the time for the rest of the summer and at least for three or four months. Oh my God, I can't wait for that. So this was the part of the conversation where you speak about the, about, about the weather. Of course, in this time, this time you just heard me talking about the weather, but imagine that this conversation is two ways. So you talk about the weather, the other person comments, and then you ask questions. Oh, you like the weather like this? Oh no, I prefer this, I prefer that. And then, so the same conversation I'm, I've been doing now with you, it can be done live with someone else. So just take this conversation, this podcast as an example where you can take notes this on your own. As you can see, you don't need another person to speak English to practice English. You can practice English on, my, on your own because now I'm speaking just to my, t to my phone, to my smartphone, and uh, I have my cat on my lap and I'm speaking to my cat. I'm sure he's not understanding, he doesn't understand a word of what I'm, what I'm saying, but I'm practicing my English. Even, even though I don't have anybody to reply, I don't have anybody to correct, but it doesn't matter because practice is practice. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you're perfect or you're not perfect. I remember when I practiced uh, at university, I practiced my English and I used to practice my English and oh my God, I made so many mistakes a lot more mistakes than now and uh, it didn't matter because practice is practice. I became more fluent and then when I studied English on the book, English on the books, of course I, 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 I worked on my 
uh, accuracy on my grammar, but spoken practice, it's just about practice. So take your phone, record your practice, your conversation, and just listen to yourself or, or do whatever you want. Anyway, you can record the podcast your own if you like. So second topic, second most common topic is politics or the news. I prefer the news to politics, although the news are usually about politics. Anyway, uh, a piece of news which has been which has been very very popular in the last few months internationally. I mean, it's the Brexit. So in this period, in these days especially, the Brexit has become a very hot uh, uh, point of conversation, uh, topic of conversation for a lot of people, especially on the news. If you watch the news. I don't know Italian news, the Italian news, but I watch the international news and they talk about the Brexit every day. I see Theresa May speaking at the parliament. I I can see a lot of people giving opinions. Uh, they agree, they don't agree about Brexit, on Brexit. But anyway, I don't understand what's really going on about Brexit because what I understand is that they need a deal to close and to go and to leave Europe uh, Europe, not Europe, to leave the European community, the European Union, but um, I don't know, I don't know, They, I, I think they haven't met this agreement, they haven't found an agreement, so they don't know what to do, and nobody understands what's going on, and how am I supposed to understand what's going on myself? Anyway, I think the Brexit deal, it's a very intact, because... Um, Independently, uh, f- like I don't care whether uh, I mean it's a good choice, a bad choice, or Britain is going to leave the EU or not going to leave the EU. But it's it's a, I think it's an interesting s- aspect because nobody ever dared uh, uh, to to leave the EU, and Britain is going to do it. And I think it's, I think it's an interesting process. Uh, it will teach us something because. People say, oh, it's a bad idea. Some people say it's a good idea. We'll, always, we'll only know if it's good or bad only when we've seen the results. So I'm curious to see the results of Brexit. And I'm, I, can't, I can't wait to see w- what it will be like. Maybe, maybe Britain will be so happy that other countries will follow their example. Anyway, after this, I think it's time to go... Time to go uh, to get started into the actual conversation of, of the conversation, actual topic of the conversation. So if the conversation uh, was meant to be uh, business, now it would be the time to, okay, let's get to our business and let's talk about our subject, topic. Um, if it's friends, oh, okay, uh, let's talk about our friendship or let's talk about, oh, do you know this? Do you know that? And then the conversation we can, can, can go on for a longer time, uh, maybe hours. So after these 10, 12 minutes of warm up of uh, small talk, uh, then you can go on on your own. Uh, so the, the, the main topic of this podcast was the small talk, the conversation, the initial conversation and the two topics the two main topics of small talk are the weather and the news. So I have given you some uh, good ideas to practice. Um, I hope you enjoy this podcast and see you on the other side. Mm-hmm.